All right, today we're going to show you how to hack on these switching power supplies. This is a Hewlett Packard model um, DPS 800 GB A. I'll uh, put a close up of this here and show you what it is. But may, importantly, what we're going to show you how to do is is uh, get these things to turn on, uh, adjust the voltage in them, and, and most importantly is how to hack the over voltage protection circuit in them. Because once you get these things up to 13.8 volts, 13.9 volts, they'll, they turn themselves off. It's a protection built into them. And, and uh, there's not many videos out there how to hack into that and, and, and bypass it or fix it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, let's get started. Now there's the power supply I'm going to be working on today. There are a lot of different power supplies out there that have the same chip in there for the over voltage protection circuit. And this hack should work on pretty much any of those. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get this thing to turn on, so you even test it to make sure it works, is you're gonna to need to put a jumper in here. And you see that these, 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 all these pins are numbered here. So you're gonna to wanna to put a jumper between that, let's say, maybe 31, and then right around to the other side here, that'd be 33, 34, let's see, this is 64 on this end. So you're gonna to want to put a jumper from this side to the other side. That's gonna turn. That's gonna turn this power supply on. Uh, that way you make sure it works and, and, and see what you got to start with. All right. Next, we're gonna get these covers off. You get three screws at the top. You get three screws on one side of it, and then you only have two screws on the other side of the power supply. So we're gonna get them screws out. Okay. Once the cover is removed, there's four screws to get the circuit board out. There's two in the back, one down in there, you see. One down, way down in this corner. And two over here that were underneath uh, the fan. Once you move, remove the fan out of there, then you can, you can access those. But first we gotta get this AC plug out. So we'll do that next. Okay, next remove this screw here for this ground wire. Next, you need to remove the AC plug. And if you look closely, you see a little tab on the side. There's one on each side. You de by depressing those, uh, you can slide that, that, that AC plug out. Now, once you've pushed those two tabs in, you can slide that plug out. Now, there's a lot of components attached to that plug when you slide it out. So you're gonna have to use a little finesse. Be real careful uh, about pulling that out. You don't wanna tear anything off there. But once you get it out, uh, and it's not that difficult. Uh, now you have access to the screws that hold the circuit board in. And now it's basically just put your hand underneath there and just uh, lift up slightly and just pull that circuit board right out. And here's what it looks like when you get it out. And what you want to do is you want to look at the side of it. Uh, there's everything you need. There's the IC right there. There's the chip that you want to look at. It's going to get rid of the over protection, over voltage protection. That's the circuit right there that where, where you see me pointing right there. You want to remove that, uh, pry it off the board, unsolder it, uh, whatever you need to do. I found it the easiest just to pry it, pry it right up off the circuit board, fold it over top of the, the chip or the IC, whatever you want to call it. And then um, uh, you're done with the over voltage protection. Now you can move on to adjusting your voltage. Like I said earlier, a lot of power supplies have this same chip in it. You're looking for the lower number right there on that chip. And any power supply with that chip in there, this uh, hack should work on those. Okay, in the lower left corner, you'll see three little tuning pots. The variable resistors, where they are. The one to the farthest, to the far right, uh, towards the back of the board, this one right here, is going to be the one that's going to adjust your voltage. It doesn't adjust a whole lot, but this is the one you want to adjust. And now you can go ahead and adjust this voltage. This but this voltage won't get you way up there. 12.4, I think it'll get you up over 13. Twelve five. It it's real, it doesn't adjust way up. Six. 
So it looks like it's about it. You, it's twelve six. You might get twelve seven out of it. I think that's about all you're gonna get out of it. And that's by adjusting adjusting this pot. I'm gonna turn it back down to twelve three, about where it was at. And I'm going to leave it right there. That, that's about where they are when you turn them on originally. They're, they're around 12.3 volts. Uh, give or take just you know, a tenth of a volt here or there. But there's another way to get the voltage up in that, and that's what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to put the covers back on that, and then we'll come right back. Okay, the other way to get the voltage up in here is, is you can take resistors. And we'll, we'll experiment with a few different ones. But pin 32 on the bottom here, and then ground. Here's your positive. This whole strip is ground, pin 32 on the end. So we're going to put a couple different resistors in there, and we can watch the voltage change when we do that. We're at 12.36 right now, so um, we'll start with a 1K ohm resistor and, and see and see what we get from there. All right, that's a 1K ohm, 1,000 ohm resistor we have in there now. Got us up to 13.85. Now, if you want to leave the covers off this and you want to fine-tune that from there, uh, you can put a, say a 1K in there, go to your little tuning pot on the side of the circuit board in there, and you can probably raise that up to I don't know, maybe 14 and a half volts by doing a little fine tuning. But that's a, a 1K ohm resistor. Um, basically, just as you would turn this on, uh, do the over voltage protection hack in there, put the covers back on, you can stick your resistor in there and get you up to 13.85. And that's what most people run, uh, even for battery charges and stuff like that, that would probably be fine. Or if you're going to run a, a radio or something like that, 13.8 volts would be good. So we're going to take this 1K ohm out and put a different resistor in there and see what we come up with. All right, there we have an 820 ohm, 820 ohm resistor. So we went from 1K to 820 ohm. And you can see the difference in the voltage 14.18, almost 14.2 volts. Uh, that's with a 120, uh, sorry, 820 ohm resistor, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to probably run on mine is 820 ohm. I'm probably going inside of it. I've got another power supply. I've, I've already got an 820 ohm resistor in there. I went inside and I turned it up to 14.5, and then uh, just left it like that. But that's a 820 ohm resistor, and I have another resistor we'll stick in there and really watch this voltage climb up. All right, there you have a 470 ohm resistor, 470 ohms. So if you get a stack of resistors, you want to play with the voltage on there, what you want, you just keep changing the, the resistance and then keep changing that voltage. 15.5, that's, that's getting up there pretty high. I got one more resistor I want to stick in there to show you how high this thing would go. And I'm, I'm, I'm bad you can get it up to 20 volts, but I wouldn't recommend taking it up too high because the output capacitors in this, um, in fact, this is one here, I'm changing these, are, they're only rated at 16 volts, which is, uh, if you go up too high, you'll be blowing the capacitors out of there and you don't want to do that. So I've got one more resistor I want to stick in there just for the fun of it, so um, let's do that. All right, what I got here now is a 220 ohm resistor, 220 ohm resistor. And I didn't solder it all in. I'm just going to touch it on there because I don't want to leave it hooked up too long. Because, um, like I say, the output capacitors, the electrolytics in here are only rated at 16 volts. And I don't want to run this voltage up too high and take a chance of, of destroying those. But so over 17 and a half volts. So if you want to change those electrolytic capacitors, I'm, I'm in the middle of changing a bunch of them. I'm going to change them all to 25 uh, volt capacitors. Uh, that way, I can, if I want to run 17 volts, I can I can do that without having to burn anything up. But uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I got some 2k ohm variable resistors. I'm gonna stick one in there and show you how that works. Okay, and the other thing you can do is you can put a variable resistor in there. Um, I have a 2k ohm resistor, and um, I don't know if you can see these ones I have run in the background. I have those in all these power supplies. I have these power supplies stacked together currently and, and running some different equipment. But then you can adjust it right from there. You just turn that up. You can watch the voltage climb. And you can run this thing. I think this thing is probably turned all the way up to 17 volts. Yep. But I, I'm running everything I'm running here. I'm running at 14.5. So 
So I can go in there and I can just fine tune that to exactly where I want to run it. And then I don't have to worry about touching anymore. And if you want to adjust it for some other purpose or something, you, you have that capability of doing that. And this is a 2K owned pot. Uh, I think you can get them on eBay. Probably get 50 of them for like 5 bucks. I think I paid for 50 of them. And that to me is the simplest way to, to adjust the voltage to where exactly you want it. And here's a little close up of the, the potentiometer that I use, 2K ohm. Uh, you can see why I snipped one leg off, uh, bent the tabs over a little bit uh, in order to, to install it on the board. And there it is installed. Okay, and then uh, the last thing we're going to talk about is is um, how you can calculate uh, what kind of amperage you can expect to get out of this power supply uh, versus the voltage that you're going to be running, and it's a pretty simple calculation. The thing I like about these power supplies is they're auto-ranging, which means you can plug this thing into anywhere between 100 volts up to 240 volts, and this thing auto-range, it, it knows what you're doing. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this calculation at 120 volts. You take the 120 volts, take the 850 watt max, divide that by the 12.15, and you'll see you come up with 69.9 amps is how you get that calculation. I plan to run mine in the 200, 240 volt range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the 1,000 watt, I'm going to divide that by my voltage, 14.5, which is going to give me uh, 68.9 amps max. Uh, that's, that's pretty good amperage. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, uh, please give a like. I would appreciate that. And um, thanks for watching.